Welcome back, e-learning students. It's Mr. Campbell here. I know it's been some time, so we're going to do our best to catch up a little bit with our on-site learners. I think we're about a few days back, but it's okay. We should be able to catch up no problem as they have their uh, notebook quizzes and things like that that we're already going to have. Uh, they, we have less, we have more days for lessons because we don't need the review days and we don't need the, the corrections days. So we just have the, the single days for quizzes and, and things like that. So we always catch up regardless. But apologies because, again, we had some internet issues Friday here at the school uh, where I couldn't post stuff. And then um, I had some appointments for Saturday where I was gone most of the day. So, um, again, we are going to get caught up no problem. So um, just so you guys know, in your unit two, we should have something that's drawn out like this. Again, I, I had this on the last video or two videos ago. Uh, and you could draw it yourself with all the labels, clearly pause it and draw it on that page with the labels on it. And then we have um, this, which we're basically, instead of giving you the chart, we're kind of writing it from scratch. So we did the inner core the other day. You guys, again, will need to keep adding to that. So we're gonna do most of the other layers today and we'll stop at the crust. Uh, so we'll kind of take it day by day and, and, and do it as we see fit. Okay. Uh, for our, again, for our updates, um, just so you guys know, I believe you turned in the evolution articles. I'm going to grade some of those. Uh, and then you will have the most recent vocab that is um, with the layers on it, right? The, the layers and such. Again, that is due Friday. And then we didn't have any quizzes or notebook checks last week. So they're going to be both at the end of this week. And the quiz, instead of being 10 questions, will probably be 15 questions. So... Again, keep those on the, the future, the, the horizon, as we kind of move forward. So again, have those in mind. Do your best. We're probably going to have four to five video lessons this week, so we can catch up a little bit. So have your notebook up to date for that notebook check on Friday. Okay, uh, our questions. Again, on page two, on page two. What state of matter is Earth's inner core, and what is its composition? Two, what is the order of Earth's layers from inside out? Again, you're going to use this drawing on page three to answer that, right? And then three, what is density? Okay, let's find out those answers. Again, pause the video, answer yourself. All right, number one, um, the inner core is a solid, not a liquid. People think of the inside of the earth, they think, oh, it's got to be, um, oh, it's, it's, a, it's a ball of lava inside. No, not the case. Most of the layers are solid, including the inner core, and it's because the pressure is is insurmountable. It is in, it's crazy amount of pressure down there. Okay, what is it made of? Now, if we go back to our notes from yesterday, you would see composition. This is for page four. It's going to be iron and nickel. It's basically a super hot metal ball, a super hot ball of metal. Two, easy, easy said. Just use this inside out. Work from bottom to top. Inner core, outer core, lower mantle, middle mantle, upper mantle, and then some new stuff here is the crust. You're going to have the, the thinner layer that's more dense, be called oceanic crust. And then you're going to have, what's well, right, actually. And then you're going to have the, um, the layer that's more expanded. Uh, that's going to be the continental crust, the highest layer. Again, what's higher in the air? Are continents higher or is the ocean higher? Continents always go above the ocean. Number three. Uh, density, we discussed a little bit. It's simply put the, the degree of compactness, how put together something is, how much stuff is inside of it. Again, the degree of compactness of a substance. Pause those, answer those on your own, and see if you got the right answers. Okay, moving on. Table of contents, guys, for again, like I've said before, every new unit, we've got a whole new table of contents. You don't add it to the old one, you have a new one, right? So go ahead, same as last time, I believe you're going to add pages two through four which are layers of the earth, pages two through four, layers of the earth, okay? We talked about inner core. Now, we're gonna go back, gonna go back to page, and we'll take a video break here in a little bit, back to page four, go ahead, add these same columns of information. Again, we're not gonna do all the rest of them today, we're just gonna do most of them. Outer core, composition, made up of the same stuff as the inner core, but it's got more. We still got iron. We still got nickel. But now we're going to add sulfur and oxygen. Again, as I just stated, you are adding this to page four. Page four of your notebook is going to be all the information on the layers of the earth. Again, the chart, the diagram we drew, page three, the layer descriptions, 
that we're filling out by scratch on page four. Okay, if you really want this sheet, which I don't think you necessarily need, let me know. Let me know in the messenger. I can get it. I can post it. Okay. Now, density and depth and thickness. Again, those are measurements. We're looking at how compact it is. We're looking at how far down it goes. Okay. Record those numbers as well. Those are there for reference for our quizzes. No worries. You don't need to memorize numbers by chance. Just know know the relative. Right. Know that which. Those numbers you can use to know which layer is more dense than the other, which layer is deeper than the other, right? State of matter, super, super important. This is the highlight of the outer core. It is the only layer that is a liquid. All other earth layers are a solid. This is the only layer that is a liquid. And as you can see, your temperature is 3,500 3, degrees and higher. It's still pretty hot. But key takeaway, this is the only liquid layer in the earth. Moving on. Uh, in the past, we would pass out peanut M&Ms, but with COVID this year, we could not, obviously. But the key thing, we're going to kind of make an analogy here, okay? So mantle, core, crust. Peanut M&M, your peanut is the core. Chocolate, milk chocolate filling is the mantle, and your candy shell is going to be your crust, right? Just an excuse to give you guys candy in class before COVID happened, right? Didn't do it this year, though. For my own, for my inside, my on-site class, obviously. Next layer again. So we moved on from we should, on on page four. We should have inner core. We should have outer core. Now we've got the deep and lower mantle. Okay, same stuff. We've got iron. No nickel this time though. We've got aluminum, silicone, iron, uh, and then calcium and oxygen. Okay, it's also for composition. You need to write this down on page five, guys. Deep and lower mantle, less ductile and malleable than the asthenosphere. Okay, ductile means it's flexible. It can bend. It can be molded like a Play-Doh. This, not so much compared to the asthenosphere. Okay, again, go ahead and record our density and depth and thickness numbers as you see fit. Right there, state of matter. We're back to a solid, and the temperature, believe it or not, is actually slightly hotter at the lower deep mantle compared to the outer core. So up to four thousand degrees Celsius. Let's go ahead and take a quick video break. You guys should go back to page two. And I just want you to write down for this video, you're only gonna need to watch the first two minutes of it when you guys watch it on your own. But why is an earth inside organized, like, like kind of why isn't it just a, bit, a, a mixed up ball of lava and magma? Why is it not a mixed up ball of lava and magma? Why is it that it's a bunch of sections of layers? Why is that the case? Well, let's go ahead and find out. It's, it's very much like this. If you were to take it apart like a fruit, it would look it would look something like this, right? Why is that the case? Let's find out. Again, write and answer that on page two. Could be on the notebook. Could be on the notebook check. Could be on um, our unit quiz. Let's get it's like Earth. Hey. So we can see here. He's got a vial of, he's got a, a beaker or some sort of glass of, of, of oils. And you guys know anything about oils? If I've got different oils, or even if I got oil and water, can those mix together? What happens if I put those things together? Do they mix? No, they separate. Ties in, it's our Earth layers. I'm just making a planet. Well, this is how planets like Earth get their structure anyway, because of different layers of density. Even today, with all of our modern technology, we've only different because of what layers of density. Different Even today, with density. all of our modern technology, we've only been able to drill about a third of the way through Earth's crust. So, how do we really know if it's solid, liquid, hollow? Luckily, Earth has this tendency. Get that. Guys, we've never seen the mantle, we've never seen the core, not even a, no drone, no robot, nothing's been down there. So how do we know that there's a mantle? How do we know that there's a core? How, right? We've only gone down this far, barely through the crust. Crazy to think about, right? Liquid, hollow, up some of its insides. 
and that's taught us a lot about our planet's guts without having to go down there. We're used to seeing density at work. That's the same reason that the atmosphere, the least dense part of our planet, is on the outside. And the crust, the second least dense part of the Earth, is beneath our feet. Because I'm less dense than the dirt, I don't sink into the ground. And even though there's about one ton of atmosphere above my head, it's not dense enough to send me floating. The main layers of the Earth are organized in the same way. Depending on whether they're divided up by how they squish around or what they're made of, geologists give different names to the different layers of the Earth. All right, so, so essentially, and you guys don't need to watch any more of this. I pretty much showed you everything you need to see. What separates the layers? Why is it in layers? Because different layers have different densities. I would just say different densities. Different, co different elements, which makes them different composition, which makes them different densities and different sections. That's going to answer our question there. Moving on, guys, moving on. All right, now, import. Go ahead, write this down on page five as well. Hey, you might need more space than page five or page four, right? So if you're on page four and you've written all these layers out down, down the sheet of paper, right? You're probably gonna need to make, excuse me students, you're probably gonna need to make a 4B, make a page 4B. And with that, you're going to include more of these layers, okay? So the asthenosphere, again, we've got all these elements in the composition, but what does asthenol really mean? I've never even heard, how, most of us have never heard of that. Asthenol means weak, malleable, it's ductile. If I think, think of it like super hot Play-Doh. Is Play-Doh still a solid? Yes, it is a solid, right? But it's like a, a gooey solid. It's like a flexible solid. I can kind of bend it, I can flex it, with, like, it's, like, it's a, like, it's, like it's a piece of Laffy Taffy, like some candy. This is like, I think some flexible gold you're seeing here at the bottom. It looks like Laffy Taffy to me, I don't know. It's one of my favorite candies. Um, Again, same thing with the numbers. Record those. State of matter is always going to be a solid unless it's which layer? The outer core. And then also hot. Again, 100 degrees Celsius and up. Still pretty hot. But it's going to be like a Play-Doh. Not, not a liquid, but a bendable, flexible solid. Okay, let's go ahead and take a break for a card question. Actually, we're going to do the card question at the end. No worries. Next, we have the lithosphere. And this will be the second to last one we do of the day. One more after this, okay? The lithosphere is going to be above the asthenosphere. It's going to basically include all the crust, all the rocky layers, okay? Again, we've got our series of elements. Make sure to record, record those. But it's all the rocky outer shell elements, right? So litho means rock. We have our numbers there, depth, density, depth, and thickness. State of matter obviously is a solid. The crust is rocky. Rock's a solid, right? And the temperature is cool. Remember, don't forget, we've got our two types of crust. We've got our oceanic crust and our continental crust that are included with that. So again, here, lithosphere, we have our crust, we have our solids, all right? And then last one, uh, before we get to crust tomorrow, is I wanna show mesosphere, okay? Now for mesosphere, you don't need to know all the composition, the density, all that. I just want you to put down two things for mesosphere. So now you guys should know all the spheres. Asthenosphere, lithosphere, and mesosphere, before I call it a day here in a minute, okay? It's below the lithosphere and above the asthenosphere. Uh, and the, so it's, it's, the, it's the closest to the core, all right? Um, and just know that it includes the convection currents. Again, the mesosphere has the convection currents. Why are these important? Because these are the reason, like when you go to the store and you get groceries, like you got the conveyor belt, these are the conveyor belts of the earth. Okay, these are what are moving the tectonic plates. Okay, and it's the reason why we get earthquakes. It's the reason why the, 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 the continents went from Pangaea to now, to all separate, right? Plates are moving one inch every year. It's because there's a, there's, a, there's a magma conveyor belt in the mesosphere flowing and moving those plates apart or together. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish today with some questions. First practice question, which earth layer has the highest temperature? Is it A, upper mantle, B, lower mantle, C, inner core, D, outer core? Think about it, take a guess. Your answer is gonna be the furthest one in the middle, the inner core, the inner core. Next question, which earth layer is the most dense? Same idea, density increases towards the middle. Heat increases towards the middle. So it's gonna be again, D, 
inner core, inner core again. All right, guys, we'll do more of those tomorrow. We got to conclude the day with crust tomorrow as we move forward to other things. Uh, so let's go ahead, have that written down. Again, don't forget, we've got vocab to the end of this week. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Um, and we've got the um, article that should have been done already. Um, I'll be grading those. And don't forget, we've got the notebook quiz, and we, we, got, we got the unit quiz and the notebook check this Friday, this Friday. Mr. Campbell, signing out.